item difficulty analysis in Excel for multiple choice question exam and determination of the p-value or the proportion value item difficulty measures the percentage of students who answered multiple choice question item correctly it is frequently called the p-value proportion or percentage value the item difficulty value range between 0 and 1 the item difficulty reveals whether an item is too easy or too hard a higher percentage item difficulty indicates an easier item and a lower percentage item difficulty indicates a more difficult item value of 1 indicates very easy question and value of zero point to a very hard question an item with a p-value of zero or one does not differentiate between students who know the subject and the material and the content and those who do not in this case if you have an item difficulty for a question that is zero or one delete that item from the exam or exams that are either too easy or too hard and an ideal question has an item difficulty value between 0.4 and 0.6 the way to calculate the item difficulty is to use the following equation count the number of students answering item correctly divide that by the total number of students then multiply the product by 100 to generate an item difficulty the table below classify the questions according to the to the value of the item difficulty an item difficulty with a value range between 0 and 20 percent is considered as a very difficult question a question with 21 to 40 percent range is a difficult question an item that has 41 to 60 percent range value is considered as a moderately difficult question and any question that has a range of 61 to 80 percent considered to be an easy one and an item or a question that has a p-value greater than 81 percent considered to be a very easy question so these are the criteria to classify question based on the item difficulty value in this table shows 15 multiple choice question answered by 10 students and the answer was recorded as one for correct answer zero for wrong answer and to calculate the item difficulty or the p-value for each question add all the correct answer scored for each question and divide that by the total number of students for the first case it's five correct answer divided by ten so it is 0.5 and for the question number 15 two correct answer divided by 10 is 0.2 again from the p-value for each item or each question of these 15 questions the questions can be labeled as either easy or difficult or acceptable for the question number one the p-value is 0.5 so it is an ideal question within the range for moderately difficult question the question number two and three is having they both have a p-value greater great higher value of 0.7 so that indicates that these questions are easy and they are 
uh, easy questions and need to be remodified or readjusted. Question number four to question number 11 are an ide uh, up to 11 are an ide idealistic questions. Question number 12 is a very easy question as 90% of the student answered the question correctly. And for question number 15, only two students managed to answer the question correctly. So it is a very hard question. So this is the way to classify items or questions in an exam that contain multiple choice question is to calculate the item difficulty. Item difficulties measures the proportion of students who answered a question or an item correctly. Sometimes it is referred to as a p-value. p stands for proportion. The item difficulty value range from 0 to 1. 0 indicates that no student has had answered the question or the item correctly. So it is an extremely difficult question. And uh, item difficulty of uh, 1 means that all the students had answered the question correctly so it is a very easy question and the way to calculate the item difficulty is to count the number of the student who who answered the item correctly and divide divide that by the total number of students participating or taking the exam and to get the percentage, multiply that by 100. Here, I have a, an, a result of an exam or a test for 38 students who had answered 76 multiple choice question, and their score was entered as zero or one, zero for wrong answer, one for correct answer. And to calculate and determine the item difficulty for each question and to determine which question is very easy, which question is very difficult, which item is ideal and acceptable, we will follow the formula just described previously. So I'm going to type in this cell P value as we're going to calculate the P value or the item difficulty. And to calculate the item difficulty, I'm going to insert the equal sign and then type sum and then select the sum function and then select the range for the first question. So we are going to select the scores for item number one for student one uh, up to student number three at 38. And then we close, close the bracket and then we're going to insert or show a bracket between the sum and its, and its range. So uh, as we are going to divide the sum by uh, the number of the total number of the student participating in the exam, which is 38. So this the formula or the equation adding all the value on the uh, for the items uh, for each student their score whether it is correct or wrong and then divide that by 38 and if we click on the enter button or enter icon the item difficulty value is calculated to reduce the Decimal, I'm going to select only two decimal points for this value. Uh, the, for the first item or questions, the value for the P is 0.18. And uh, to auto fill and auto calculate the item difficulty for all the 70 uh, remaining 75 multiple choice questions, select and drag so that uh, toward the end of the column, that column ends for question number 76. And the Excel will auto-calculate and fill the item difficulty for each 
question. Again, we can see here that each question has its own way of measuring its difficulty through item difficulty. To make things much easier, also I'm going to color code those value using the table here, small table, uh, taking in consideration that the ideal question that has a difficulty item difficulty range from 0.4 to 0.6 and I'm going to increase it a little bit here taking a value of 0.4 to 0.66 so to color code these values select the row for first and then click on the conditional formatting scroll to new row, row rule and then in the uh, select rule type click on the format only cell that contain so in this format i'm going to color code only cells that has specific value so cell value i'm going to use a range between 0.4 and 0.66 so what i'm going to do here is color code anything between 0.4 and 0.66 and i'm going to give it a color by clicking on format and clicking on fill and since, since this is what we want to select I'm going to select, click on the green color and if I click on OK again and click here on OK all the values that has a range between a range between 0.4 and 0.66 is color coded as green and green indicates that this is an ideal question this is a uh, uh, questions that is really good to use in the exam now for the rest which is of course the rest will be um, either very easy or very extremely easy or extremely difficult again we're going to do the same uh, click on conditional formatting scroll down to new rule and then click on format cells that contain again the same thing and instead of selecting between not between so we're going to use exactly the same value 0.4 and 0.66 so the any value that is not between 0.4 and 0.66 we're going to color code that by clicking in the fill and give it a, give it a red color meaning that this question is either it is very very easy or very very difficult click on ok and then click on OK again here, here, as we can see that each item has it is its value for difficulty and each difficulty is color coded red for very easy or very difficult and green is an ideal or acceptable uh, questions with acceptable difficulties. To calculate the percentage of item difficulty insert the percentage and then into the cell next to it going to insert the equal sign and then select the value of the item difficulty for question number one multiply that by 100 and press on enter a percentage of the item difficulty is calculated and I'm going to decrease the decimal point to just one decimal point and uh, to calculate the percentage of item difficulty for the rest of the multiple choice question just select drag to auto fill and auto calculate the value for the rest of the questions again here the percentage of item difficulty is calculated with the p-value for each item here on this side a small description for the range of the item difficulty any item or questions that has a p-value or item difficulty from 0 to 20 is labeled as a very difficult questions from 20 to 40 is difficult from 41 to 60 considered to be moderately difficult 61 to 80 percent 
is easy and 81 to 100 percent is considered to be a very easy questions or question or an item if we look at the item difficulty percentage for question number one we see that the value is 18.4 percent using the value here a range of the value this question is very difficult as only 18.4 percent of the student answered this question correctly so this question is extremely difficult one and uh, question number two next to it has a value for item difficulty of 95 nearly 95 percent which indicate that 95 percent of the student participating in the exam answered this question question number two correctly so this indicate that this question is extremely very easy question the one next to it is just on the border between an ideal an ideal um, question ideal question has a p value range of 0.41 to 60 as is shown here 0.41 to 60 so this one is just on the border of being considered to be uh, an ideal question the one next to it is nearly 70 nine percent item difficulties which uh, indicate that this question is a very easy questions and uh, so on so looking at analyzing the difficulty item difficulty for the rest and that uh, and looking at this one here saying it's five five seven fifty seven percent that's an ideal ideal question the one here 81 is very easy this one is an ideal question so this is the way to sort out and label the questions in an exam paper as either uh, very easy easy ideal questions very difficult or difficult questions based on the item difficulty calculation